Hey, good morning YouTube. So it looks like we got some new news from Hasbro. Um, so today is February 28th and they just released some images of the Infinity Wave 2. The build figure is going to be the Black Dwarf, but I believe they are changing the name to... Where is it? Uh, Coal Obsidian. C-U-L-L-O-B-S-I-D-I-A-N. So I guess they're not going to go with the name Black Dwarf in the movie. And they decided to change it to Coal Obsidian. Obsidian. So behind him you could also see images of Thor and images of Black Widow. And we'll go ahead and get into those. And let's take a closer look at Coal Obsidian. So I think this is a pretty cool looking bath. Um, I was reading online right now and... Uh, but Cole and Black Dwarf are two different characters, and are they combining the characters for the MCU? Uh, I know they're going to be using the name. I know they're not going to be using the name Black Dwarf in the movie. So it looks like this might be two characters. They're merging into one for the movie. But either way, I think it looks really cool. We know it's Black Dwarf, um, and he looks really cool in my opinion. Anyways. So, taking a closer look at this figure, I think the articulation looks like it's going to be pretty decent. I don't know about the arm. It looks like it's on a single joint, or it might be hindered just by his buffness. But uh, taking a look at the head, the head looks really, really cool. Um, I think it looks, it'll be a really cool customized figure for like Berserk or something. Because I am looking for material to use to make like some demons. So this would be a pretty cool head I could use uh, for that. <clears throat> and body, really. So going down, we can see that he has armor, he has the cloth underneath it, he has that shoulder armor. The skin looks really, really cool in this figure. And he also comes with a hammer, you can see off to the right over there. Uh, those knee pads look really cool, the skin tone looks really lizardish, And then he has more like armor plated on his skin, that looks pretty damn cool. So this figure does look pretty dang impressive. Um, it is going to be a whole new mold. Look at those feet, those feet are pretty cool. Uh, it looks like they're hinged. Looks like they're kind of arched up, and then they're going to be on the hinge and everything. So that should be really interesting. This is going to be a whole brand new mold. Um, that'd be cool if they did a um, abomination on this on this body. That'd be pretty cool to see. All right, now taking a closer look at Thor, I'm not too impressed with this figure. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the entire silver tone. And the legs look a little funny to me. Not the legs, but the little crotch piece. It looks like it might break very easily or something. Uh, but I can't wait to see this figure in hand. Uh, getting a closer look, the face looks kind of worried to me. It doesn't really look like Chris Hemsworth. Um, but it does you know, tell us that his eye got fixed in the movie. Um, but all the silver detail is alright, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. The kind of belt piece looks a little too bulky right there. And I hope that we have a, a, whis, a waist swivel right there. Uh, I really hope it isn't hindered by that or anything. I do like the hammer. It looks like Groot made it for him. That like he and Groot got together and made it. That'd be really, really cool in the movie. Um, and as far as that cape goes, I'm not a fan of that. But, I mean, I probably will buy this figure because the build of the figure looks really awesome. So let's go ahead and move on to Black Widow. Now, she looks really good in my opinion. Um, I like this design, this costume design. I like that kind of green jacket she's wearing. You know what it actually really reminds me of is Star um, from Resident Evil. You know what I mean? Like, she's <clears throat> kind of matching Chris. So, that's kind of a cool aspect. But, um, I do think this figure looks really good. I like that it doesn't look like she's going to come in heels, which will be a great thing for the female figures. Um, I like those pouches on her side right there, and I like the green in the costume. The only thing is the face kind of looks a little funny. I'm not sure about the blonde hair or the way that that's coming out. Her weapons look pretty cool. Um, we'll have to see the movie, how they are in the movie. But again, getting a closer look at her, her face looks kind of weird to me, but, you know, the simple repaint, or we'll have to see how it looks when it's in hand. And again, the jacket looks really good in my opinion. Um... Going down, the legs look really good. Um, it looks to be a new mold because they have the guns molded onto the side there. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. It could be the um, the female shield agent guns or legs. But it does look really good. She has that belt on her crotch right there, and that looks really good. She should have um, a nice uh, abdomen joint, it looks like it. I don't, I don't really know. I can't tell too well right there. 
But this figure does look really good. I will definitely be picking up this Black Widow as I really do like Scarlett Johansson. And I am a big fan of the Age of Ultron. Or was it the uh, the four-pack Amazon Scarlet Witch? And I do have that one. So, looking forward to this figure. This wave looks pretty good all right. I'm a little disappointed with the Thor, but I am excited about this wave coming out. And I am looking forward to wave two. I'm looking forward to the movie. Um, so, hell yeah. And if you haven't found one already, go ahead and head over to your Walmart because this Thanos is showing up everywhere. Along with this Thanos is the Infinity Gauntlet. That is something I really do want to buy myself. Um, it's at Walmart for 88 bucks. I was telling my girlfriend about it, and she even kind of wants it now. So, <laughs> uh, whenever I get a chance to get that, I probably will pick it up. So, definitely go to your go to your Walmart and pick up this uh, Walmart exclusive Thanos. Um, I'm pretty sure within a week it's going to be flooded everywhere. Um, besides that, my Walgreens this morning had the Mr. Fantastic in stock. Uh, they just got it today. The East Coast seemed to have got it last week early, but I believe the official street date is this week. So go ahead and head over to your Walmarts and Mr. Fantastic should be in stock. And if you didn't check out Bug's video of him interviewing Hasbro at Toy Fair, they went ahead and lifted the street date on the Deadpool wave. So this is not my picture and I did not find them yet, but the street date has been lifted and it does seem like they are distributing distributing this wave now so the hunt is on boys all right well that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys found it in informative um, hope you guys liked it if you haven't already subscribe leave a comment and I'll catch you guys next time peace out <laughs>